Thanks for joining us on Ruffles and Rain Boots. Today, we're rock painting a bunny. First, we're going to outline the ears. I did one with a flopped over ear. Oh, you don't have to. Just note that at this stage, you might have to readjust the ear size after you draw the head. Um, I'm just doing a little calculation there and then I'm drawing the guidelines so my bunny is looking off to the side so I draw my center line just a bit off center and then I use the two horizontal lines to create tombstone like shapes for the eyes which is very common in this style and I draw on a little tiny button nose again right now we're just getting a feel for the the weight of everything and the size of everything. Here we're going to add the signature cheeks that sort of pop out. Mine are a bit uneven. I'm still learning this style. <laughs> so this is definitely a learning opportunity for me. And now, now comes the painting. I'm using Posca paint pens. These are the best. You can blend with them. You can um, alternate colors really easy. Everything as you can do with acrylic paints you can do with these. I love that they don't dry out very easy. But what I'm doing here is using short short strokes to sort of get that fur effect and I'm going to blend a little of the white in with the brown of the ears which is why I didn't complete the entire face I don't want it to dry so here I'm just kind of softening everything up and I'll be blending in the white with this brown because I do want a little bit of the center to be lighter like the inside of a bunny's ears right so we'll just add a little bit of the white and after you do this I'm just cleaning off the brown off my white tip and you just blend it out a little bit with the brush. Again, you're looking for short strokes to emulate fur. Next up, we're just going to finish painting the whole bit of the white face. Uh, white in particular, I like to do a couple of coats. So here I'm just going to quickly do the base coat of the cheeks and just get everything down before I go back over it later. You can blend it here. I choose not to. I just want it to dry so that I can layer it. These paint pens, they really don't take very long to dry as well. So now I'm just outloading the eyes again in the brown. You don't have to use these markings. I just really like them. And I think they give it a lot of, of depth and, and interest. So I'm just coloring. If you noticed, I'm just coloring over the eyebrows I put in place there. And now it's time to do the detail of these signature eyes. So first we're going to do the lids a little bit and that top reflecting piece. Um, I always do it first before I do the pupil and that's because I'm lazy. It's easier for me to do white and then black around it than it is for me to do white on top of the black. So here I am going to get out my blue because this is a very fast process. You just draw on your pupils, try and get them even sizes. If not, don't worry, it's a rock. And then you're going to let that dry for a second while you do the blue, just outline barely around that. So you want these big eyes. And then once you have that down, you can do two layers um, of this, I choose not to. You can just dot a little bottom reflector on both of those eyes. Mine are actually uneven. Like I said, still learning. Give them some eyebrows and you're going to outline this whole thing. You're going to outline everything about this bunny, including the little dips of hair and even the inside of the ears. I like to do one outline and do it pretty thin and then come back and even everything out. Or you can do it however you want. <laughs> this just these Posca pens make it so easy to do this part of the process. So I really like them. And they allow me to get really good detail. These are the extra fines. They're great for blending. They're great for um, this detail work. I wouldn't paint an entire rock with them unless you're doing some blending work. But I just mixed a little bit of the red and the white Posca pens for a nice pink because the pink that comes with the set is a very bright pink. I thought it was a bit too harsh for our little bunny. I'm painting on a smile and then I'm just going to go over everything in white again. 
We're going to do that last final outline and there you have it, your adorable bunny, Rock. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.